It hasn't been an easy ride of late for Ryanair, fending off competition and a falling pound, putting pressure on prices. Ryanair's solution is to keep planes full by cutting ticket prices. It means we have high load factors, we have strong traffic growth. Profits are not growing quite as fast. Profits are only up 7%, but that's because fares are down 10%. That's good news for passengers and Ryanair's plans to increase the number of those by 10% to 200 million travellers a year by 2024. It'll also return an additional 550 million euros by February in a share buyback. That was enough to boost shares 6%. I think the issue for Ryanair is that you're constantly having to juggle the interests of customers with the interests of shareholders. I think so far uh, Ryanair has actually managed to achieve the balance pretty well. Uh, but potential Brexit storm clouds remain a worry. The whole uncertainty as to whether the UK will stay in the single market, stay in open skies, leave, uh, is very troubling. We're going to cut capacity, which we thought would have grown by 12%, will now only grow by 5%. The UK market only accounts for around 2% of Ryanair's business, and last week it announced plans to add Frankfurt, Maine, to its operations, one of Europe's busiest hubs. And I think what Frankfurt are worried about is that Air Berlin is continuing to restructure and cut back. They see their traffic either stagnating or declining, and they want somebody to come in there and grow the business. Ryan is certainly increasing capacity faster than most. It's planning a 13% rise this winter, 4% higher than the average and the highest level in the industry in a decade.